Tyco Pro Spotters are built for the real world, the real needs of the workplace that can have your Tyco working 24-7, so it's vital for every driver to understand its operation and how to operate it safely. Spotting trailers with a Tyco Pro Spotter is easier and safer when you read your operator's manual and follow it. We will show you how to make safety first when operating a Tyco Pro Spotter. This video covers the highlights, so again, make sure you read your manual for complete operating details. Your Tyco operator's manual will help alert you to the procedures you need to follow before you ever enter the cab. Checking the condition of your Tyco Pro Spotter is the first step you should take when you start your shift. Before you step up into the cab, make sure you complete the walk around inspection. Let's start at the front. Check your tires to be sure they are properly inflated. Then look under the chassis to check for any leaks coming from the radiator, the engine, or the hydraulics. Fluid leaks must always be addressed to ensure proper levels and pressures. If any of these conditions exist, make a note of them before proceeding with your inspection. Check the sight glass on the overflow tank for proper coolant level. Unlike other terminal tractors, you do not have to raise the cab. The cooling system is a high pressure system, so never remove the radiator cap if the engine is hot. Look under the deck to be sure the cab is locked down. With the cab latch bar in the proper down position, the cab is prevented from accidentally tilting. There is also a warning label with the cab tilt instructions located on the frame by the cab tilt switch. Remember, keep clear of the cab when raising or lowering. Should you need to tilt the cab, pull the cab latch bar release handle to the rear. While holding the handle, move the tilt control switch to the up position and hold until the cab latch bar clinks into the locked position. Never place any part of your body under a tilted cab without checking to be sure that the cab latch bar is in the locked position. When lowering the cab, just reverse the procedure. Note that the cab latch bar has a release handle which must be pulled prior to lowering the cab. Next, check the battery cover to see that the cover fasteners are secure. Check the fluid levels in the hydraulic oil reservoir. If the fluid is cool, it should be visible at the bottom of the tube, but be sure not to overfill. The instruction labels are easy to read and the filler cap is easy to reach. Also, check the hydraulic tank shutoff valves to see if they are in the open position. Check the top of the frame and fifth wheel boom area to make sure they are free of any trash or debris. Make sure you never put any part of your body under the fifth wheel boom when it is in the up position, unless the boom arms have been properly blocked against accidental lowering. As you come around to the driver's side, check the rear tires. As you continue your inspection along the driver's side, check the fuel tank for leaks. Pull the air tank lanyard to drain off any moisture that may have accumulated in the air tank. When refueling, make sure you never light a cigarette or smoke and make sure there is no open flame nearby. Also, please do not use your cell phone. Keep it off. Check the engine and transmission fluid levels. Make sure you have maximum visibility, so clean the windshield and all the windows, then adjust the mirrors so they are properly directed. When all the inspections have been completed, it's time to get into the cab. Check the floor and all around for any trash or loose items that could be a hazard. Before turning the ignition switch, make sure that the yellow tractor parking brake is set. With the transmission in neutral, turn the ignition switch to the on position and check the wait to start light. When the light goes off, rotate the ignition switch clockwise to start the engine. As soon as it starts, immediately check your oil pressure. If none is indicated within 15 seconds, shut off the engine and find the problem. If the engine will not start after 30 seconds of start or rotation, switch off the ignition for a few minutes and allow the starter to cool off. Do not use starter fluid on an electronic engine. 
No matter what the problem, never try to start a Tyco Pro Spotter by pulling or pushing. It is not possible. Failure to disconnect the drive shaft or raise the drive wheels before pushing or towing could seriously damage the transmission. After you have started the engine, let it idle for five or six minutes. While the engine is warming and building up air pressure, check your gauges, switches, turn signals, lights, windshield wipers, and controls for proper operation. Then adjust and lock your seat into the most comfortable position. Your Tyco Pro Spotter is equipped with seat belts. Make sure you fasten them. Before you can release the parking brake, the air pressure gauge must read at least 70 PSI. Apply the foot brake. The park brakes are released by pushing down on the yellow button marked Press to Release. After releasing the parking brakes, shift from neutral to the appropriate drive gear and you're ready to move out. Before attempting a change of direction, shift forward to reverse or reverse to forward, bringing the vehicle to a complete stop before moving the shift selector. Your Tyco Pro Spotter gear shift selector has no P or park position. Before leaving the cab, always shift to neutral and set the tractor parking brake. Never park with the truck in forward or reverse gear. Now you're ready to do what Tyco Pro Spotters do best, so go find a trailer. The following procedures are highly recommended, but are provided only as a guide. Remember, it is the operator's responsibility to be sure that proper trailer moving procedures and practices are followed. If there is a training seat in your Tyco Pro Spotter, this trainer's seat should only be used for training purposes. This seat folds away neatly and securely when not in use. Before backing up to the trailer, be sure that the fifth wheel is in the full down position and that the fifth wheel jaws are in the open or unlatched position. Depress the unlatch button just to make sure. While backing, line the tractor up to the front of the trailer by centering the fifth wheel to the center line of the trailer. Make sure that the tail of the fifth wheel is below the bottom of the trailer. Slowly back under the trailer until the entire fifth wheel top plate disappears. With your foot firmly on the brake pedal, the transmission in neutral and using the boom control lever, raise the fifth wheel up until the trailer landing gear is just off the ground. With your foot still on the brake, shift into reverse, release the foot brake and back firmly into the fifth wheel jaws until you feel full engagement. Now shift into a forward gear and give a little tug to make sure that the jaws have locked on the kingpin. Be ready to immediately apply the foot brake if a full lock of the kingpin has not been accomplished. With the fifth wheel and kingpin securely locked together, shift into neutral and raise the trailer to the necessary height to maintain landing gear ground clearance. Set the parking brakes by pulling up on the red and yellow parking brake valves, then hook up both of the airlines. To release the parking brake system, firmly depress the foot brake pedal and push down on both the red and yellow parking brake valves. Shift the transmission selector into the proper gear and double check the brakes by depressing the brake pedal. Then move the tractor a foot or so. Now we are ready to spot the trailer. With the trailer moved to the right location, stop, shift to neutral and apply only the red trailer brake. This will allow the Tyco Pro Spotter to move gradually as the trailer is lowered. Using the fifth wheel boom control, lower the trailer until the landing gear makes firm ground contact. Set the tractor emergency parking brake control. Disconnect and store the air brake lines. Release the yellow tractor emergency parking brake control. Then depress and hold down the fifth wheel unlatch control as you slowly ease away from the trailer. Your Tyco Pro Spotter is designed to move trailers for generally short distances and in somewhat confined areas. It is not designed to operate the same as a road tractor. And since your Tyco Pro Spotter hauls loads with the front of the trailer in an elevated position, the load is not as stable as in road tractor operations. 
for your own protection and that of the equipment. No fast turns or fast starts. If you are operating a tractor that is DOT certified, you may be required to perform a regeneration on the exhaust system. You will be notified that a regeneration is required when the DPF lamp is illuminated. To perform the regeneration, use the diagnostic switch located to the left of the steering column. With the DPF lamp on, push the switch forward and hold for four to five seconds. Following a successful regen, return the switch to the middle, off position. Also, if you are driving a DOT EPA model, you must manually lock the kingpin locking jaws before operating on a public road, and you have to manually unlock the kingpin locking jaws before you can unhook the trailer. Real professionals know their tractor inside and out and have learned to handle their Tyco Pro Spotter efficiently and effectively. Tyco, helping to put you safely in the driver's seat for your real world.